Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. This is episode 676, and today we are going to talk about the year 2020. Was there really anything to smile about in 2020? All right, and we're going to find out what my thoughts are on that in just a second. Before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko, and if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com, and we're streaming live on Facebook. So last week I couldn't do Facebook, couldn't find it on my website, but it's there. All right, today it works. How about that? All right, in about 10 minutes, you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. I'm going to give you the number now. Don't call yet. 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. Okay, so like I said, today's show is about 2020 kind of in review and my take on it. And so uh, the name of the show is The Reasons We Smile, and the reason that's the name of the show, is because I tend to be optimistic. I always look on the positive side of things. Yes, I'm realistic, and I understand that things don't always work out the way we want, but I try to take the high road, try to be optimistic about how things are going to go. And so uh, I I congratulated, or rather wished a happy birthday to Keith Carlos uh, on his birthday, which was December 19th, and he sent me back a response that said, gratitude, thanks, Doc, for everything you do for me. And the word gratitude kind of stuck in my mind. And I decided that that kind of uh, uh, describes me and that I have gratitude even for the year 2020. And so what I did was I made that into an acronym. And we're going to, today's show, we're going to go through each letter of that word. I'm going to tell you what it means to me as it relates to 2020. Now, we've all heard that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I think that... uh, as a society, we have grown. We are stronger because we've had to deal with all of this. For those of you that are having trouble hearing me, it's because I have my mask on and we're kind of trying to get used to understanding people who are speaking through their masks. Now, I want to say that my heart goes out to all of the friends and family of the folks who passed away because of COVID-19. There's no way we can really uh, understand your grief or share your grief with you. And we certainly don't want to minimize it by saying what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Uh, And it's so, so sad. I mean, we're talking about grandfathers, uh, um, grandsons, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, cousins, uh, mothers, fathers, everything you can imagine. And there are just so many people uh, grieving right now that uh, my heart goes out for you. It goes out to you. Um, But let me tell you about, if we want to look at the positive side of 2020, Oh, and I just remembered I've got to start the uh, start the video part of this. <laughs> got to make sure I'm trying to do video production at the same time as I'm doing the, the audio. So we'll get that going for the people that are watching. Sorry about that. Okay, so gratitude. I'm going to start with G. G is for giving. 2020 seems to have brought out the giving spirit in all of us. You see every day where somebody is sending uh, oh, cards to seniors in a senior living center or a nursing home or they're um, gathering food and delivering it to people in need and are raising money for this family or that family. And it's just really, really heartwarming for me to see. Now, you could also say that the G stands for going digital (laughs) because it seems like everything we do these days in order to make it work is with our computer, right? We're buying groceries online, we're buying Christmas gifts online, or we bought them, or we're returning them online or trying 
And uh, so G would be for giving or going digital. All right. Oh, and by the way, this word gratitude, you're going to have to remember this for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Okay. Okay. It's a long word, so we need to get moving. <laughs> R is for resilience. If nothing else, 2020 has taught us to be resilient. I'd never even heard of a Zoom meeting before 2020. And yet now I've been in several of them. My uh, Clintonville Rotary, we meet by Zoom. Uh, we even did a um, uh, Zoom meeting for our Christmas tree lighting. It was Facebook Live, I believe, but we also had a little Zoom thing going on in the side for those of us that were on site as we were broadcasting to, uh, oh, it turned out to be over like 138 people or so had logged in. And we think that was pretty cool. Would have been nice if we could have seen everyone in person, but we couldn't. So anyway, and you know, and also all of the adjustments that uh, I, I had no idea how many people could even work from home. That seemed so unnatural to me. I thought, yeah, you can work from home for a day or two, but you have to go in to work, right? Well, it's amazing how many people never have to go to the office these days with the computers. And also, all of the adjustments, the resilience, all of the adjustments that have had to be made by our school system, our universities, our sports teams, our food service businesses, and more. And so, yeah, I would say R is for resilience. Okay, A. A is for advances in medicine. It is absolutely unprecedented that we have developed a vaccine in less than one year when the least amount of time that it took to develop the last vaccine, which happened to be hepatitis B, was 16 years. 16 years it took to develop that. And that was the, that was the record up until this time, this time around. That was the record. Prior to that, I think I mentioned, you know, 55 years to develop the polio vaccine, 105 years to develop the vaccine for diphtheria. We still don't have a vaccine for AIDS or Ebola, but we developed these vac this vaccine in less than a year, and it works, 95%. That is absolutely amazing. A for advances in medicine. They get an A+. Plus. And uh, 60 minutes to the story about how this came to be. So Pfizer, and if you remember, whenever they say the Pfizer vaccine, they talk about Pfizer Biomed. And there's a small company in Germany called Biomed, and they had, I might be saying that wrong, it's like Bion maybe? And they were really close to developing this technology using uh, uh, RNA strands of the virus. And they realized that it was so big, it was a worldwide problem, they needed a partner. And so they contacted Pfizer and said, hey, we're really close on this. Would you like to partner with us? And the woman at Pfizer had said, I was just about to call you. That's how that came together. And so this was technology already in the works and they uh, partnered together and they made it happen. And by the way, Pfizer was the only company that declined accepting federal money for their research. And yet they were the first ones to have a vaccine. Isn't that cool? If you haven't watched that little segment, it's, you know, 60 minutes. I think it's a 15 minute segment. You could probably watch it on demand on CBS. So anyway, and let me just uh, put my plug in here. This is great science. This is real. This works. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to give you the virus. You might have a sore arm. You might get a, uh, like a little slight fever or some chills, but that's just your body going, hmm, what is this? And what it's telling your body is, this is you need to make up, you need to create some defenses against this, okay? So what it does is it gives like a totally inactive version of the virus. It's not the virus, I'm sorry. It simulates the virus. It has some little strands on it that look the same. So it, when that comes in, your body's going, okay, I need to develop some um, defense against this. And so it develops these antibodies for something that looks like this. So then if you ever get uh, exposed to the virus, which looks the same, you'll already have the antibodies and you won't get the disease. Isn't that cool? So they get an A++++ in my book. And people, please get the vaccine, even if you're normally a non-vaccinator. This is one time in your life when you should get it. All right. Um, so, you know, and also, not, not just for developing the vaccine, but we also figured out a better way to treat people with COVID-19, as well as trying to pre prevent its spread through social distancing, hand washing, and wearing a mask. So A could also be for adapt, our ability to adapt to change. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one, which is T. Remember, we're spelling out the word gratitude, G-R-A, and now we're at T, at least the first T. T is the time, I'm sorry, T is for the time that many of us have had a chance to spend with our immediate family. Yes, I know grandparents haven't been able to see their grandkids and vice versa, but many, many people were able to spend time with their immediate family that they could not have done in 2019. 
I know I'm one of them. You know, uh, spending time at home, more time with my wife than uh, we used to. We got to do some gardening together. Um, you know, I've actually uh, uh, enjoyed cutting the grass. <laughs> Things that I didn't used to do. So anyway, yeah, the time and, and, you know, time is precious. And so the fact that we were able to connect uh, a little bit more than normal to me is, is awesome. Okay, so like I said, we're going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. And um, I'm looking at one of my Facebook friends. She says she's hoping to get her vaccine in February. She happens to be a, a healthcare worker. I'm surprised she doesn't have it yet. But uh, thanks, Tiffany, for listening and watching. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. The phone number, if you want to pre-program it, is 614-459-9769. And, but before we, do, before we do it, we need you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. All right, today we ref- are reflecting on 2020. What word did I decide would be the way I will remember the year 2020? Did I say A, that I'll remember 2020 with disdain? B, that I said good riddance to 2020? Or C, I said I would remember 2020 with gratitude. All right, the winner's going to receive those free flowers from DeSantis Florist. The number to call, 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You can't take me as I am. Not just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, because you're too much for me. Hi, this is Keith Carlos, former NFL player, actor, and first male winner of America's Next Top Model. I got a question for you. Do you know how many dentists there are between here and Los Angeles? Well, I don't know either, but I fly over every one of them just to see Dr. Kavico on a regular basis. Check out my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on my Instagram page, at Keith Carlos. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most compassionate dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Are you tired of hearing what every business is doing to keep you safe? Well, me too, because they're all saying the same thing. Wearing masks, washing our hands often, and social distancing are the keys to keeping us healthy, and all businesses are doing that. But here at Dr. Kavitko & Associates, we do that and more. We have continuous air and surface pathogen reduction units inside our office that kill over 93% of the coronavirus and other pathogens. I bet you can't name another dental office that does that, give us a call at 614-262-9588 or go to drkavitko.com. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! Yeah! Hi, I'm Johanna and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavitko for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavitko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today. 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, Are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? (laughs) That's very good. Thank you, Richard. We're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have Barb from Old Town East on the phone. Hi, Barb. How are you? I'm very, I'm very grateful to be talking to you on the phone today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So you have gratitude also. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Very, very much so. My my uh, spouse is battling uh, cancer. We've had a rough couple of days and things, uh, the fever broke. So 
I'm very, very, truly grateful. Awesome, awesome. That's awesome. So what is the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? Grateful. Close. <laughs> gratitude, yes. I'm sorry, gratitude. <laughs> I meant gratitude. I, I think I knew you, you knew, I knew you knew what you meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> They're so similar, it's fine. It's fine. So anyway, I, <laughs> I think you did. You told my producer the correct answer. So he's like looking at me like, what? <laughs> anyway, so hey, Barb, stay on the phone. We want to uh, get information where to send those flowers from DeSantis, okay? Okay. Okay, and keep tuning in. I appreciate it. And all the other folks that didn't win today, please call next week. Okay, if you're just joining us, this is episode 666. We're doing the year 2020 in review. And basically, we're talking about how I'm going to remember 2020. And I decided that I'm going to remember it with gratitude. And I've taken the word gratitude and we're going through each letter as though it was an acronym. And so we uh, finished up with T for time. And now the next letter would be I. I is for an invisible killer. As a medical professional, I've always known that there are things so small that we can't see them, but they can kill us. That's why all dentists wear gloves and masks and why I've worn a face shield since 1985. I'm hopeful that society will remember this and take this lesson from 2020 and change our behavior moving forward. Would everyone listening to me please get the COVID-19 vaccine? <laughs> I already said that once. I'm going to keep saying it. I um, actually you know, wrote this yesterday and didn't realize my passion was going to overflow and I would already have said that <laughs> by the time we got to this. But it's an invisible killer, folks, and we need to be protected and we have a way to protect ourselves. All right, so gratitude, G-R-A-T-I, and now we're going to hit the second T. The second T is for trying. Trying harder to make things work. Trying harder to survive. Trying harder to get through this. Essentially, 2020 has forced us to reinvent ourselves, to reinvent our businesses, to go figure out workarounds of how we can make things happen. Just like my Rotary Club did the workaround for the uh, uh, Christmas tree lighting, which normally we would have a bunch of families with kids and have a big table and kids would be uh, making ornaments and coloring and um, eating cookies and hot chocolate and the choir would be singing and Santa Claus would be there. And then we'd go out and light the tree. Well, uh, this year we did it as a Zoom meeting. And so, um, you know, we have to uh, try harder to make things work. We can't just give up, right? That wouldn't be cool. So, um, okay. The next thing in the letter and the word gratitude would be you. You is for understanding. Who in the world could have expected this? And yet we have come to understand the disease and we also understand how to treat it and how to prevent it. Again, that's the scientists that, you know, they work in these labs. My son is a scientist. He's a microbiologist, PhD in microbiology. And, you know, I always uh, feel, almost feel guilty that like something that a dental re researcher has discovered, I'm the one that gets the hugs and the thank yous and the big smiles from the patients because I'm able to do something for them, for you, uh, because somebody toiled in a lab somewhere and toiled for years to figure out, for example, how to make tooth colored fillings would be a good example, right? How to make those that are strong enough and that last in the mouth, in the environment that the mouth is, which is very, very caustic. And so we need to thank our researchers. We need to, next time you run into somebody who is a microbiologist or a chemist or a, you know, um, uh, let's see, what's the biomechanics, all kinds of things that affect the, the human body, thank them. In fact, I found myself thanking my UPS driver on, um, on Wednesday, or was it Thursday? Yeah, Wednesday. I found myself like, um, I mean, I'm grateful for discover that I discovered 2C MedTech, the company that makes those Casper units, but mostly I'm, uh, I'm grateful that they discovered the technology in the first place. Those, if you're not familiar, those are the units that have this photocatalytic plate and they create, they put out ozone, which then joins with the moisture in the air, which is water vapor, which is H2O, and it creates H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, which envelops the vaccine, or I'm sorry, envelops the virus and other pathogens, makes it inactive, and then eventually just strangles it and kills it. So, um, you know, but here's the thing. I got to thinking, so, you know, I have these four of these in my office. So in my office, you only have about 6% of the normal amount of pathogens in the air and on surfaces. And I got to thinking a little bit about how, okay, now we have a vaccine. People are going to get vaccinated. So will these units become obsolete? The answer is absolutely not. And here's why. The hospital, a hospital that, that instituted this technology, put it in their ventilation system, and I don't know the name of the hospital, after a year, 
discovered that they had 42% less absenteeism because of, or due to illness. So think about that. People were almost twice as healthy just because these machines were in the hospital. Isn't that neat? Who wants to have a sore throat if you don't have to? Who wants to have a cough or a sneezy, you know, a runny nose or sneezing? And so, uh, bef- so these people, these researchers did this before anybody had even heard of the coronavirus or COVID-19. And yet now we have it and we're going to have it forever. We're going to have this technology. I'm going to be healthier. My, my family's going to be healthier. My staff's going to be healthier. My patients are going to be healthier. Even those of you that got the vaccine, you're just going to be healthier. You're not going to catch a cold when you come to my office because we've got these, you know, you're not going to get the flu. You're not going to get other things. There won't be as much bacteria that you can get on your hands when you uh, reach the, to turn on the, the water faucet to wash your hands, right? That sort of thing. Okay. So now, let's see. In the word gratitude, where we are would be D and E, are the, the two that are left. I think we're going to go to a break now. When we come back, we'll finish out the word gratitude. And then with the time that I have left, I want to talk about and say goodbye to a lot of people that we lost in 2020. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, episode 676, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am And I just a little bit I don't know who to be I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea I know you see it too Cause you're too much for me This is Clark Kellogg Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko Aquí en su estación favorita Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile radio and roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? back we're going through the word gratitude one letter at a time we are up to d d is for doing for doing the right thing for wearing our masks for washing our hands for keeping our social distance and for doing your civic duty and getting the covid 19 vaccine e is for every healthcare worker on the front lines every truck driver every food service worker and i'm going to include every dentist dental hygienist and dental assistant who worked straight through the pandemic despite the risks. Because when the uh, the pandemic first began, it was identified by the CDC, I believe, as a dental hygienist was considered one of the most vulnerable healthcare workers in the country. Maybe the most vulnerable now that I think about it. And second was dentist, okay? And so I don't think uh, people think about that. Now we wear the hospital gowns, we wear the surgical caps, we wear the gloves, the masks, the shields. We wear everything you can imagine, and we've not had a single case of COVID-19s come from our office. Now we have the CASPER units, like I said, so that um, takes out 93.19% of all pathogens, and that's a big part of it. But uh, for, uh, So I want to thank my staff uh, for working through this with me and our patients who have been very, very supportive, and they know what, what precautions we're taking. And, uh, but not to minimize the, uh, uh, clearly the heroes are the people treating the people that have COVID-19 and the, uh, healthcare workers that are cleaning those instruments that they use, all of that, um, uh, like my friend Tiffany. All right. So now let's, now these, uh, let's talk about the people we lost in, uh, 2020. I want to say goodbye besides the, uh, uh, gee, it's almost a million people, I think worldwide from COVID-19. Um, so we lost Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Gianna. We lost uh, uh, Glee star uh, Naya Rivera and her, oh yeah, it was just, that's right, it wasn't her son, just her. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, Black Panther star Chad Bozeman. 
and Jeopardy host Alex Trebek. Those are some of the most notable. But we also lost Charlie Pride, a country singer. We lost uh, David Prowse, the actor that was inside the Darth Vader costume uh, in the first three uh, uh, episodes. Sean Connery, Anthony Chisholm, an actor. Eddie Van Halen, a rocker, right? Little Richard, an original rocker. <laughs> Think about that, yeah. Um, Congressman John Lewis, that was very, uh, very, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very sad, right? Uh, I saw the picture of the horse-drawn carriage taking him across that bridge one more time. Uh, Regis Philbin, for years, he, these, a lot of these people made people smile, which is why I, I think there's a tie-in here. Olivia de Havilland from Gone with the Wind. Wilfred Brimley. Peter Green, the founder of Fleetwood Mac. Kelly Preston, John Travolta's wife. Gregory Tyree Boyce, who played Tyler Crowley in Twilight. Jerry Stiller, Ben Stiller's dad. James Lipton, uh, from the uh, public broadcasting, um, uh, let's see, Fred Willard, the uh, weather guy, who used to do the, 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 the Smuckers thing with the, the people that turned 100. He'd be the one to kind of congratulate them. I was kind of hoping Fred was going to make it to 100, but he didn't. Dwayne Johnson's father, whose name was Rocky, by the way, which is how James, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson got the name The Rock. Uh, Kirk Douglas, Orson Bean, Kenny Rogers, Fred Curley Neal from, anybody remember? From the, um, uh, oh, shoot, 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 I'm drawing a blank. Um, the Globetrotters. <laughs> Made all these people smile with the special trick plays and stuff. And Roy Hearn, who is half of Siegfried, Siegfried and Roy. Okay. And, and there are many, many more. And I thought about, you know, how cool it would be to have somebody, you know, say my name uh, at the end of the year if I had been one of the people who had passed away. But I don't think that's going to happen. You have to be really, really big and really, really famous. <laughs> now, as I was researching that, I found a list and it was called um, it was called the death list. And I thought, OK, this is the one I want. And it turns out it's just some group that predicts who's going to die. <laughs> and so. They have this whole list of 50 people they think are going to pass away that year. And then I guess they look and see how well they did. Well, 27 of the 50 that they had on that list um, had passed away. So they were close. And uh, what got my attention was it had Betty White on the list. And I thought, I don't remember Betty White passing away because she didn't. Because she just she's on their list, but she didn't. So good for her, right? So anyway, yeah, folks, I am going to look back at 2020 with gratitude. Uh, if you've lost a loved one, I know that's going to be very hard for you to do. But there is always a silver lining. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's a rainbow. And things will get better. At least we can say that, right? Because it would be hard for them to get worse. And so um, if you try to keep a positive attitude and uh, keep your chin up, I think good things happen. We definitely can't forget the past, but we want to look to the future in a positive way. And... Um, you know, it just makes me even more focused on wanting to live my life in a certain way to make sure I spend time with my kids, time with my grandkids, time with my wife, with my mother-in-law, and my friends uh, at the office, and my patients, who uh, many of them have become friends. And uh, so I just want to say I appreciate you all, I love you all, and uh, let's have a wonderful 2021. Okay, now when I come back next show, it will be in 2021, won't it? Let's see, this is the 27th. Yep, it'll be... It'll be, uh, I forget which day, which day, with the address, with, oh, it'll be the third. <laughs> Thank you, producer. <laughs> Three fingers, it'll be January 3rd. All right, so it looks like that's all the time I have today. Thank you for uh, putting up with me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening, and hopefully you will go out and get vaccinated, okay? That's all the time I have today. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kavitko. And please visit my office Facebook page, which is Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world